when I grow up, I want to fit the winter games too. Not work on the boat like you and Daddy. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on his schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Till the day. In the one? Hayden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Uh, anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. I'm gonna have to get going, but it's been... Hey, hit it hard. It'll go faster. Yeah. Back then, most Come of what we here, she was dead. in the first place. The money. Are you serious? Okay, I'll admit it. I missed company. If it wasn't for you, it'd still be in a coma. Or worse. I'm glad he's better. Me too. Only he knows what happened in old Philidor. And soon, thanks to you, I'll know as well. Over and out. Bar sets the right example. Did you hear? Renegades attacked the canteen. You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you, from Meyer and the commander. And my name's- I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang up with the renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you, including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please. Make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox and Chief Jack thinks he can send his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? 
He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm-hmm. How about a court-martial? Matt can do that, right? <laughs> a court-martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing? A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Supply is everything. Try again, man. And don't improv this time. <sighs> I'm... <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And? What should we try next? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. Assume we don't have a gun. Come to me back at my place. So with it. We'll talk. Even a drop of pino. Maybe some fruit. Sweets always do me good. Stumble upon a memorial at the intersection. Come on, tell me. She's still saying that. Yes. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Danier likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch.
Renegades attacking the canteen now? We're really gonna win this war.
I hear the PK engineers are working on alarms and electric traps. Ain't a difficult job.
did that to him. The one? There's nothing left in here. Dan, you said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. Took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? 
Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Okay, I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Ah, oh, have I embarrassed you? I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled the year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? Why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the Renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them, then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. I'm not here for my health, Juan. 
I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. How do I know you're not using me to make a move of your own? I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You'll get your lamps. You just gotta talk to Demolin. Who's he? He's my man. Sent him out to search for more lamps, but he hasn't checked in for a while. Where can I find him? Around here. Last I heard from him. Find him. Then come back to me here afterward. You got it. Something else on your mind?